Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm talking about the new Makeup Geek Fall 2016 eyeshadows, which I'm so excited about because hello, it's Makeup Geek. I've recently kind of been purging my makeup collection a little bit, kind of like really sifting through everything and deciding what it is that I really truly love and use and like and want to have hanging around in my space and things that I don't, I'm just kind of like ushering out the door um, and I bring that up because Makeup Geek is one of those brands that I'm like die hard heck no this has to stay in my collection this is like one of my favorite brands if not my favorite brand for eyeshadows especially but today I'm talking about the brand new shadows that they came out with for um, fall 2016 so there are two different like sections of this collection. One is the signature eyeshadows and one is the foiled eyeshadows. If you guys know, the foiled eyeshadows along with their duochromes are like my jam. They are my favorite thing in the whole world and I just adore them. Their mattes and shimmers or like um, satins are amazing too as eyeshadows go, but the foiled ones and the duochrome ones are just so punchy and so, ah, they make me so happy. So anyway, let's go through the two different um, sections of the collection here. So I have a little cheat sheet here. So there are nine of each type. So nine signature eyeshadows and nine of the foil eyeshadows in this new collection here. So I will show you those guys. So a couple months ago in BoxyCharm, we got this um, like Z palette kind of thing, but it's actually the Ofra brand version of a Z palette. And I had this Makeup Geek sticker. So I just, I just, I just put it on there just so that I would know not to like cover up Ofra and be like, no Ofra, but because I want to know, okay, this palette houses all of my Makeup Geek shadows, not all of them, but th that's what's in here, if that makes sense. So I'm not the kind of person who takes a Z palette and puts like square shadows and round shadows and oval shadows and rectangular shadows all in the same one, because that makes my OCD brain go like, <laughs> that is not happening. Um, so I like to segregate them by brand, I guess. So these are most of this collection. There are two that would not fit in here, so I will show you those in just a minute, but I'm gonna talk about the signature ones, which are the top two rows here. So here in the corner, we have this one, which is called Bake Sale, and this is, um, oh, you know, I might have my other ones to compare. That's a good idea, let's do that. Okay, so Bake Sale up in the corner here is kind of a really, um, almost, um, it's pretty neutral, like a medium brown. Um, I wanna say it's kind of like between Coco Bear and what is this? Frappe? What is this one? No, Creme Brulee. So Creme Brulee and Coco Bear are like two of the kind of brown ones that a lot of people use in their crease and transition area. No, it's not Coco Bear. What am I talking about? This is Frappe. OMG. Okay, yes. Wake up, Sarah. So I <laughs> let's let's start that over. So it is Frappe and um, Creme Brulee that I'm talking about. These two right here. And Bake Sale is in between those, in my opinion. So it's not quite as it's not quite as red as frappe and it's not quite as like light and sandy as um creme brulee is it's kind of in the middle a little bit more neutral i would say um and it's really pretty it's nice and that's kind of more of a matte so going over here this is early bird and that one is kind of like a i mean it's really similar to chickadee so i would say this is like chickadee's big sister and i actually don't know on camera if you're gonna be able to see the difference but there actually is a difference. This one is a little bit more caramely, a little bit more rich and like yellow orange where the other one is just like deep yellow. Can you see that at all? How there's a difference between the two? So the top one is early bird and right below it there is chickadee. So chickadee is one that I really like to use in the transition area. Sorry, my memory card was full. So anyway, as I was saying, I use chickadee a lot in my transition area and in my crease. So I think that early bird is gonna be like a new fave because it's just got a little bit more color to it because it's darker. Know what I mean? The next one that we have in the new collection is Tan Lines. And that is this one right here. It's a nice, also kind of a medium brown. It's a little deeper than this one over here, which was, what was it called? Bake Sale. Um, it's a little deeper than Bake Sale, but it kind of reminds me of um, Frappe, except warmer which is nice because Frappe is good, but I feel like it's a very specific look because it's got a little bit more red to it. So it doesn't actually find itself going with everything in my opinion, if that makes sense. So this one's just a little bit tweaked version of Frappe and it's a little bit lighter. No, it might be the same like 
lightness darkness, but it's a little bit less red, which I think is cool. Um, On to something that is a little bit more red. Um, so, I almost showed you the back of it. The next one is Sidekick, and this is Sidekick right there. So you can see next to Tan Lines how it's a little bit more red from that one. And so we're gonna say tan lines and then a little bit redder as frappe and then a little bit redder as sidekick. So kind of cool. I like that because for different skin tones you can't always use the same thing. Even if it's not like a drastic difference in like lightness or darkness of skin tones, undertones and like eye color and stuff like that play into what you actually want to use in your crease and I consider these to be crease colors generally. Um, so it's kind of cool that they're actually making like a nuanced variation of these shades. So I love that, I think that's awesome. So the next one's Cabin Fever up here. And I'm gonna say, if I had to compare this to something, I would say it's almost like Cocoa Bear, but a little bit deeper and a little bit less orange, if that makes sense. Not that Cocoa Bear's orange, cause it's not, but when I'm looking at them side by side, it looks a little bit less orange, like a little bit more brown. And so that's the top row there. A lot of really nice neutrals. You could use those all in your crease. You could use some of them on the lid. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want, okay. And then the next row, we have some kind of more like stony, like really cool tone shades, which I love. So the first one is Bandwagon, and that is this one here. I love it next to that. Look at that. I just love colors, you guys. So much fun. So Bandwagon, and then the next one, which is next to Bandwagon, is Fofur. The, t the two are kind of to me very similar tones but just one is a little bit lighter one's a little bit deeper really cool those would look bomb in the crease or transition area for like a really awesome pop in like cool tone smoky eye Ooh, i just love this i love this idea um so that would be super cool you could do this one in the transition area that one in the deeper crease it would be gorgeous and then the next one is actually a satin sort of finish it's called lucky penny that's this one here um it's very cool tone. All these are very cool tone here in the second row. Um, a little less so this one here. But anyway, this one's very cool tone. It um, it's very it's very kind of fall. Like it really reminds me of this fall. I think they did a good job of this fall collection. This one particularly really speaks to me in like a fall voice. <laughs> Um, and then the last one is Pocket Change, so that's this one here, and it's very similar to this one except it's a little bit warmer, and it also looks a little bit brighter, if that makes sense. So those are kind of cool. These are both satiny, shimmery ones, whereas the first two were mattes. And then on the bottom here we have the foil eyeshadows, which are my jam, they're my favorite, like I've told you guys before. So let's talk about the shades that we've got here. So here we have a purple, well there's two purples here. This one's more of a blue purple, this one's more of like almost an amethyst purple. So this one is called Hype. Just do yourself a favor and order some foil eyeshadows. Like if you're gonna order Makeup Geek eyeshadows and you're like, what do I get? And you have some mattes already in your collection that are satisfactory, go for the foil ones, go for the duochrome ones, because those are what make Makeup Geek really stand out as something different on the landscape of like the eyeshadow market, in my opinion. Um, and then, okay, so the next one is Plot Twist. So that's this kind of cool toned purple here. And, I know if you use a lot of Makeup Geek shadows, your next question is, do these look a lot like some of the foiled shadows that they have already? And I will answer that right now. So what came to mind when I opened the first two purple ones was Caitlyn Rose, which is a gorgeous kind of blue purple foiled eyeshadow that they already had. It's that one there in, a cor in the corner. Look at them together. They're not the same. So while Caitlyn Rose does have some blue, so you can see it's bluer than this one, but it's purpler than this one, so it's in between the two. So like I said, it's cool to have that nuanced like variation within the shadows. The next foiled one that we have is Limelight and OMG. It is so cool. It is gorgeous. Look at that neon green. That makes me so happy, you guys. I just love this neon green color. This next one is a really nice, deep emerald green, and it is called Epic. It's beautiful. I love, like, I love how they threw in a couple of the jewel tones, but it's not like jewel tone heavy. Does that make sense? Like fall is often a jewel tone kind of time of year, but it's not overly, you know, heavy on the jewel tone, so I like that. Um, and then the next one is another kind of green. It's more of a forest green, and it's called Take Two, and that's this one here. So we have Epic and Take Two, and the one that I would compare that to in the foil collection before is this one here, and it's called, I can't remember what it's called. 
and I don't want to take it out because these are actually like jammed in there real good and I'm afraid that I won't be able to get them back in. So anyway, um, but it is different. This one is actually more of like a mossy forest green where the other one is a little bit of a brighter forest green, like a jungle green almost. And this one's a little bit more mossy. This is called Legend Here. Um, again, it is kind of similar. Well, I'm not going to say it's similar, but it's... Um, in the same family as a couple of the ones that they had before. See the one right below it there? And then this one, I feel like it's kind of in between the two. And the last one that I was able to fit in here is called Nostalgic. And it's this really light kind of rose quartz pink. Here, let me get my focus on there. Come on, there we go. It's this really light kind of rosy pink that is a gorgeous lid shade or a highlighter shade. It's just so stinking beautiful. It almost has like a purple, undertone and not purple what am i talking about silver it almost has like a silver undertone to it but it's gorgeous it's a beautiful beautiful shade so that is the majority of the fall collection um, i'm going to show you the other two that i couldn't fit in my palette really quickly they actually might be my favorites guys hang on okay so first we have this one which is called sorcery and it is a gorgeous it reminds me of the mac shade like i think it's called like night divine or something night something like k-n-i-g-h-t um, I think it's Night Divine. I don't know. So it's kind of like a really steely, like cloudy, stormy color, but in a foiled eyeshadow, which I think is so, so awesome. I'm so excited to make looks with these, you guys. I cannot even tell you. I can't even wait. Um, this one is called Curtain Call, and it's the last one in the collection. And it is, again, another foiled eyeshadow. And it is just kind of like a cranberry, but almost... Mmm, I really don't even know how to describe them. It's almost like a really dark pink cranberry shade, if that makes sense. And I love the two next to each other. OMG, this is a cool tone girl's dream right here. I love these next to each other. I'm gonna have to figure something out that involves these in the same look because they are gorgeous. Um, it reminds me of, if you guys ever played The Sims on the computer, like back in the day, there was, I swear, there was a carpet you could choose for your house that was this color. If anybody knows, let me know if I'm right, but I'm pretty positive that there was because this reminds me of a carpet. <laughs> So that is all for the Makeup Geek Fall 2016 eyeshadow collection. Oh, I do have prices. So the foil eyeshadows, as we know, are a little bit more in price than the regular signature eyeshadows um, for obvious reasons. There's a lot more pigment. I think there's a lot more that goes into the production of these. So anyway, um, a single foil pan is $10. And the foiled expansion pack, which is all nine of the foiled ones I showed you, is $80, which is pretty darn good. Like you still, so you save $10 if you get them all together versus if you were to buy all nine of them separately, it'd be $90. But if you get the expansion pack, then it's 80, you save $10. Basically one of the eyeshadows is free, kind of awesome. Um, and then for the signature eyeshadows, a single pan of course is $6. We're used to that from Makeup Geek. And then um, the full eyeshadow, Bundle is $45 and that's nine pans. So again, you're saving what? $54, $9. You're, you're, yeah, you're getting one for free. Same thing. So um, cool. So that is that. Those are the prices. These are already out on the website. Go check it out. Um, and if you guys have any questions or want to see any looks with any particular ones, let me know. I'm very excited about these and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.